And more breaking news this morning. A second whistleblower has officially come forward in the controversy over the president's phone call with Ukraine's president. According to ABC News, the attorney representing the first whistleblower says he's now representing a second person who has already spoken with the inspector general. He says that whistleblower is an intelligence official with knowledge of the phone call. We are waiting to hear more about what comes from this second complaint. Meanwhile, the White House continues to push against claims President Trump acted illegally during that July phone call with Ukraine's president. Now, House Democrats are issuing subpoenas for the White House. They're requesting documents from VP Mike Pence related to this controversy. The White House dismissed those requests, issuing a statement saying the subpoena changes nothing and is a waste of time and taxpayer dollars. The State Department says it will cooperate, but with limits. Nations do this. Nations work together and they say, boy, goodness gracious, if you can help me with X, we'll help you achieve Y. This is what partnerships do. The president is also fending off attacks from some in his own party. Senator Mitt Romney is calling the president's request for China and Ukraine to investigate his potential 2020 rival Joe Biden wrong and appalling.